sir, are um, you've been in the league since 2013, so this is year 11 coming up for you. Um, you're 33 years old. How are you different now than when you first came in the league, Lane? Uh, I just think knowledge of the game. I, I feel like, obviously, physically, I think I may be stronger and whatever I may have lost in, in, in speed, overall speed or quickness you can make up with, with timing and strength. Uh, so it's just kind of, of an evolution of a player. But, yeah, I mean, a lot of things goes down to mentally, um, you know, knowing your assignment and know how to execute it better. Uh, I feel like I've had, obviously, you know, 10 years of, of reps, live reps, and it's hard to replace that. Um, and so I think just with the culmination of that, it's, it's made me a smarter player. Well, how are you physically? Um, you know, there's a lot of conversation about how, and again, I know you, you know, athletes certainly of your stature don't like talking about injuries because they sound like excuses yeah. potentially. But um, how are you physically coming off the uh, last yeah, year? I feel great. Um, you know, besides the one playoff game, I really didn't feel too terrible, uh, you know, with our run. And so, yeah, physically, I feel I feel loose and I feel strong. And so, uh, whatever setback I, I, I might have had, uh, you know, the recovery from this injury is, is pretty quick. And and the chance of re-injuring this is, I think, almost you know down to one percent um, from what the stats say. So, yeah, feeling good. And yeah, man, just just uh, blessed, uh, you know, to be with one team for all these years and and being fortunate to be a part of a, a good organization, uh, you know, winning football games and. And, uh, you know, it's hard to replicate. Okay. Uh, and that one playoff game you're referring to, is that the one that San Francisco had only 10 guys on the field? <laughs> yeah. That... Yeah, that was one of them. And the Giants game, I feel like I, I probably hurt the, the most. Uh, you know, it was really my first uh, return to action. What you would you make of Debo's comments about the NFC Championship game? How has that rested within your locker room, uh, Lane? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, I mean, players can get motivated from that, but I mean, from what he said, it's, it's not too far off. I, I do think, you know, obviously, um, if the quarterback doesn't go down, uh, it is a different game. I feel like, you know, they obviously weren't able to utilize the, the team that they were, you know, the majority of the second half. And so, yeah, I, I believe it would have been a more, a lot more competitive game. Well, I mean, it's not that Brock Purdy didn't just trip over his shoelace, right? It was, yeah, it, yeah it, was a, it was a major injury that he still – you know, bouncing back from. Uh, no, so yeah, I, I mean, no. My my point is my point is that Hassan Reddick was the one who kind of was in his lap, right? I mean, it was affected. The the moment yeah. was was brought about by an actual defensive play that was repeated multiple times throughout the day. Yeah, no question. Mm -hmm. No, it was okay. it, it it was a weird predicament to be in. Um, but no, I I obviously know they were frustrated to have it go down to that. Okay, catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free. 